Well, we are having a joint session of the European section for infection in urology and the European section for female and functional urology. And what we have heard so far is uh, new information about the basic aspects of UTI. We have learned that uh, genetics is probably more important than we used to think. It is not only uh, an issue of bacteria, it's uh, probably more uh, of a host issue. Is overactive bladder a UTI is a question that begs answering yet. We don't know if it's an infection, but there are possible hypotheses that some group of patients could be uh, due to an UTI that possibly we haven't detected yet and our methods are insufficient to detect this. Behind this lies the increasing uh, uh, antibiotic resistance which is a warning signal to us to reduce uh, the prescription of antibiotics because it uh, leads to increased resistance. The bacteria and we are part of the same ecosystem. We're not more important than a bacteria, and a bacteria is not more important than that, and we're not more stronger than them. We're on an equal level. Taking that principle into mind, actually, then we understand how to deal with them better. It is very important that each region in the world, or you can even say each hospital, knows the local uh, pathogen profile and the local resistance pattern, so that the empirical treatment can be as effective as possible and we must try and avoid using broad-spectrum antibiotics. We have patients who have a UTI, they may have the clinical symptoms of a UTI, but none of the tests are positive for them. We don't have the evidence to show that these patients have a UTI. What is the rate of these patients is quite unclear at the moment. The European urologists are in a unique position because we have been running a prevalence study for 13 years now. So we have a good insight into what causes urinary tract infections and what is the best antibiotics to prescribe.